Hi there, welcome to Marcus Loves Movies. My name is Marcus Lee and today I'm checking out the movie trailer for The Lady of Heaven, a new film which is due to be released in 2021. We're not quite sure of the release date just yet because it's 2021 and you know things aren't open like they should be so who knows but the reason I'm checking out this movie trailer is because a few people online on this channel have said hey Marcus you should really check out the Lady of Heaven movie trailer so I'm doing that because we're creating a community so people have asked me and I am responding I can't respond to every single trailer request because there aren't enough hours in the day but there you go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out this movie trailer full disclosure I know very little about the film I did a quick Google search beforehand just to get a tiny bit of background about it just to check it's not like a really dodgy film or anything like that so it's about Lady Fatima if you know you know if you don't know you don't know like I didn't know so gonna watch this trailer along together and then afterwards I'll share my thoughts about it so you've got 10 seconds before I press play if you've got any time to grab yourself a little bit of popcorn to do that feel free but if you just want to eat fresh air feel free to do that as well you know like when we used to watch movie trailers in the cinema and we'd have our our popcorn they were good times they were good times but anyway these are the times we live in right now so gonna watch the trailer and then afterwards i'll share my thoughts about it so here we go the world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of syria and iraq the world can be a cruel and dangerous place unfortunately it can be even if you're afraid, be strong. Your loving mother, Fatima. Did your mother ever tell you the story of the Lady of Heaven? My mother never she did. Was very special. Daughter to the Prophet Muhammad. Fourteen hundred years ago. My time is near. And after with my lovely Fatima, you will face many trials. With my father no longer here to lead us, evil is with those who will extinguish the light of truth. I've already got a couple of questions about this, if I'm honest. A woman, tell us what to do. We will burn her out. God will judge all of you. Proof you don't mess with God. <laughs> this world has become a breeding ground of violence. It certainly has. So they will be cast across many generations to come. Looks like we've got some good action sequences in there. I like my action. It said some people are so full of faith. They give strength to everyone around them. The greatest thing in this life and the hereafter is the spreading of peace in the world. Amen to that. Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up, no matter what the cost. Mm. Her legacy lives on. The Lady of Heaven. Hmm. Coming soon. Ah. Very good. Okay. I, I like the look of that trailer. I would say that's what I call big screen entertainment. Sometimes you watch a, a film and you think, yeah, I can wait for that to come out on DVD or, you know, stream it at home. Uh, but some films are made for the big screen. That's a big screen film. That's the reason why I want to be in cinemas. So, yeah. Okay. Like I say, I didn't know a great deal about this movie trailer going in. So I did a tiny bit of Googling and it's about Lady Fatima, who I knew nothing about. And it's about the birth of Islam. So it looks like it's set over two different time periods. So flashing back and then flashing forward again. And yeah, um, my initial thoughts are, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see that. Um, the thing that jumped out to me when I said, I've got questions about this already, is about the British accent. Why are there British accents? Because surely this film should be, the accent should represent the area that the film is set in. Okay, so would, would, people be speaking English? I, I don't think so. It's much like 
it's much like the television series Chernobyl, which which came came out you know a year or two ago. If you've seen that, go check it out. It's on Sky Atlantic, I believe. And people speak English in that, but based on the area around Chernobyl, they didn't speak English. So why are they doing that? Well, they're doing that for a Western audience, aren't they? Clearly. And does this look like it's a film that's been made for Western audiences? I think you might argue that yes, it does. Um, when a film has been made for Western audiences, the question that you ask is how accurate is it in terms of its history, how accurate it is. So if there are any historians out there, if people who you know know more about Lady Fatima, I'd be intrigued to find out, you know, how accurate do you think this is gonna be or how accurate does this look? Um, films about religion, I think can be a bit of a difficult, difficult thing to manage because you want to tell a historical story, you want to tell something that's true to faith, but some people are gonna love it and then some people are going to hate it. And I think about, I don't want to go off on a tangent, moving away from <laughs> Islam, but I'm thinking about Passion of the Christ, a Christian film which came out around 2004. And that was a film that did really well. Um, lots of people saw it, but again, it divided people. Some people thought it was brilliant. Some people thought it was a great depiction of Christ and what happened. And then other people thought it was too violent. It was very controversial and they didn't like it. So Christians, some Christians loved it. Some Christians hated it. Uh, but that film had a lot of attention. Uh, you know, Mel Gibson was the director and, you know, he was obviously a big deal. Uh, the director of this film is Eli King, as someone I, I don't know a great deal about. So, yeah, but well, uh, anyway, Eli, big up for, for doing what you're doing. So, yeah, religious people can like religious movies and then non-religious people, you know, some question whether that even happened in the past. So, you know, you've got to win over that crowd as well. And sometimes movies about faith can be a little bit cheesy. And again thinking of Christian movies, because I've grown up watching Christian films and some Christian films can be cheesy because they want to show Christianity in the best possible light and they don't want to offend Christians. So if you're a Muslim checking out this uh, movie trailer, or when you see the film eventually, it'd be interesting to find out whether you think this film is cheesy or whether you think they're playing it safe because they don't want to offend anyone. How accurate does it look? How good does it look? I mean, me watching it, I think, yeah, it looks like there's a good amount of it's entertainment, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be entertaining. And I suppose with a movie, you have to make it entertaining so that a crowd will want to watch it. But then I suppose you also have to win over people who don't follow that religion. So much like a film, like The Passion of the Christ, you know, you can't just make that film just for Christians. You, you, you need to make it available for everyone to watch. You need to make it accessible for everyone to watch. And the same with this one, it needs to be accessible for people who aren't Muslims to, to want to watch that. Um, obviously, they don't want to disrespect the faith, but you also you need to show that sometimes people aren't perfect. So yeah, that's, that's another conversation. Um, one of the other things about the accent that jumped out to me as well is you've got a guy saying, oh, are you gonna let this woman tell you what to do? We'll burn her out. Is he Cockney? <laughs> a Cockney in that part of the world? Yeah, anyway, that's, that's what I'm saying about, you know, dumbing it down for a worldwide audience. Be authentic, man, be authentic. So in terms of uh, release day, it, according to IMDb, it says 2021. So nothing's been confirmed because our cinemas, here in the UK at least, are closed. We're not sure when they're gonna open. We hope they'll be open, well, as soon as possible. And it'd be interesting to find out what cinemas uh, actually show this film. I've grown up in Bradford, and in terms of Bradford's population, we've got quite a diverse mix of people. So we've got a lot of Muslims, we've got a lot of Sikhs, we've got a lot of Hindus, we've got a lot of Christians, we've got a lot of atheists, we've got a lot of everything in between. So you've got a, a nice diverse mix of people. So based on the Muslim population in Bradford, this film will probably play well in the city of Bradford. Bradford is a city in the UK, if you don't know, if you're watching from the other side of the world. Um, but in another part of the UK, which is less diverse, how would it play out there? Would audiences want to see it as much if if you were in, say, Carlisle or Barnsley? I'm, I'm just picking on two places that I think aren't as diverse as Bradford, because, like I say, Bradford is a multicultural city. How would it play out there? Would cinemas want to show it there? Would audiences want to go out and watch it in those places? So that would be interesting. How would this play to a non-religious crowd? Because, you, like I say, you need to win people over. Me, personally, though, I'd be up for seeing it because I think it's good to see a wide range of films. I think it's good to see films that you naturally wouldn't choose. Me personally, I like action films. I like psychological thrillers. Those are the things that are at the top of my list. Historical things aren't always, you know, I, I wouldn't always run out to the cine cinema to watch those, but something like this, I'd see. And I think as well, films on some level can be educational because we live in a society now where 
we get our entertainment online or we get our information online, I should say, and we don't pick up a book as quickly as we would have done 30 years ago. I'm showing my age now. Um, so films sometimes can be educational because they can educate you or tell you about a historical event that happened or historical you know, stories or beliefs or anything like that, they can educate you. And they're not always accurate, they're not always perfect, but I'm sure the filmmakers are making some sort of attempt to tell people about things that happened 1400 years ago, like in this film. So yeah, I'd be interested to see it. And I wonder, what about you? Are you interested to see The Lady of Heaven after checking out that trailer and checking out my thoughts as well? Thank you for watching. Can I just say that? Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment on the video below. Let us know what you think about The Lady of Heaven film. Can I encourage you to like this film, like this <laughs> video that I'm doing now? Um, and also, if you do like checking out trailers and having reactions like this, if you like movie reviews and movie discussion, can I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is the place where I do all of that good stuff. I also did a video uh, last week which was talking about 2021 cinema releases, which sort of notified you of all of the major cinema releases that are due to come out this year, when they're likely to come out. They might be delayed, we don't know, because you know we're all living through you know a lot at the minute and we, we're not sure when any of these major films might come out. So yeah, Lady of Heaven will make an appearance at some stage, we're not sure. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, come back and check out the next video that I do. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of when I release a new video. And it'd be good to catch up with you again soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Thanks for watching.